Hi, this is Doug Burks with Security Onion, and in this video we're going to continue our investigation from previous videos, this time using the Squeal Client. So keep in mind that the Squeal Client is not browser-based. It is written in Tickle TK, but it's very powerful. So we're going to log in using the username and password that we specified in Setup. Then we're going to select all the sensors that are available to us and start Squeal. So now here you can see on the real-time events tab of the Squeal console, we have all kinds of different events here. We have emerging threats, network-based IDS alerts. We have pads, new asset events. We have up here at the top, we have some OSEC host-based IDS alerts. So let's continue where we left off in the previous video. We were in Squirt and we were looking at a suspicious FTP conversation. So let's take all of our events and let's sort by destination port. So here we can see here's our FTP port 21, our pads new asset event for that FTP outbound connection. So if I just go and control click on the alert ID, I get the same ASCII transcript that I saw previously in Squirt. So here's my FTP conversation storing 1.txt and 2.txt. So those are the two files that were exfiltrated that I'm really interested in figuring out what were they. So now in Squeal, I can pivot uh, based on source IP, destination IP, what have you. So I'm going to pivot based on the destination IP, and I'm going to do a query of the SANCP table. The SANCP table contains session data. So I'm going to say, hey, Squeal, show me everything in your session data for this destination IP. And notice we have three rows here. The very bottom row is our FTP control channel connection on port 21. And then above that, we see the port 20 connections for our uploads. So if we go and look at this first one, we can pivot based on the connection ID. And we see that this is a, a binary file. We see that it begins with RAR, so we have a a good feeling that this is a RAR file, so that's interesting. Let's take a look at the other one. So if we pivot on the connection ID, here we see the file that was uploaded is actually the output of the gsec dump command. gsec dump is used for dumping password hashes on a Windows box. So it's interesting that we see the help options for that command being uploaded to an FTP server. So one theory might be that uh, we're dealing with a sloppy attacker, and instead of using the correct options for GSEC dump to actually dump the hashes, he had a typo or some kind of uh, a problem with his syntax, and so D GSEC dump printed out the standard help options for the command. So we may be dealing with a sloppy attacker here. So now, I'm not that concerned about the GSEC dump help options being exfiltrated from my environment, but I am concerned about that RAR file. So what I may need to do is actually carve that RAR file out of the PCAP. So what I can do is, instead of control clicking on the connection ID and getting the transcript, I can send the PCAP to Wireshark. So that's going to go to our PCAP store, extract uh, a single PCAP that contains just that TCP conversation. I can right click and follow TCP stream. Here's my RAR file. So I can do save as, save it as out.rar. So we've now carved the RAR file out of the FTP conversation. So now what I want to do is I want to go to my file manager. So I go to accessories and file manager. Now I'm going to browse out to my temp folder where I stored out.rar, I'm going to open that file up. Now by default, Ubuntu doesn't have a free utility for opening RAR files, but I can do search command. And since I have internet access, it's going to say, okay, I found a tool. It is a non-free tool, but as long as you're okay with installing it, we can install it. put in our password 
because we do have we do need administrative privileges to install these new packages. So now it's going out to the internet and downloading these uh, RAR packages from the Ubuntu repositories. Okay, so now it's done. It's able to use these new RAR utilities to open this RAR file, but it's prompting for a password. So this is a password encrypted RAR file. So maybe you could use uh, some kind of a brute force method or maybe, if you think you're dealing with a sloppy attacker, maybe we could have a hunch that the sloppy attacker was sloppy in creating his password. So maybe we could try a simple password like this. Enter. And there you go. The RAR file opens up. We double click on the folder. And there are our files. These are the confidential files that were exfiltrated from our environment. So as you can see, in just a few minutes, we've, we've answered a few questions. Uh, was the original IDS alert a true positive or a false positive? It was a true positive. Did the workstation actually download the EXE? Yes, it did. We looked at the EXE and we found an interesting IP address and we saw a connection outbound to that IP address. So we have a pretty good feeling that the workstation executed the EXE, which established an outbound connection. We saw ghost rat command and control traffic uh, then we pivoted based on the workstation's IP address, and we also saw an FTP outbound connection. We saw it upload two files, one.txt and two.txt. We saw that one of those files was just the GSEC dump output, and the other file was this RAR file, which we were able to open. We were able to see our confidential data being extracted, exfiltrated from our environment. So there's our RAR file. So we can close this window. and close this tab. So a couple of other interesting things we can do with Squeal is we can scroll down and look for say an EXE. So again we can take this particular alert that is firing on an executable being transferred and we could send that to Wireshark right? because maybe we want to take a look at that EXE. Maybe we want to carve it out of the PCAPs and do some reverse engineering. So what we can do is in Wireshark, we can go File, Export, Objects, HTTP. And now with Wireshark, we can just carve that EXE right out of the PCAP. Now another option is, instead of pivoting to Wireshark, we can actually pivot to Network Miner. Network Miner actually saves you a couple of steps because as soon as that PCAP is opened by Network Miner, Network Miner is automatically going to extract any files that it sees. So all you have to do is go to the Files tab, right click, and go to Open Folder, and there's your executable. So that's just a few of the very cool things that you can do with Squeal. And in the next video, we're going to cover Elsa.